tonight we are back at one of the most haunted houses in America, the Winchester Mystery House. The entire place was designed to confuse the spirits that were haunting her so that they would get lost. There's a portal over here. Do you use the portal that's over there in that room? I think a lot of things do. Her face was like bright white. It really startled me. I see Clyde walking up and down this scene alley um, with the wheelbarrow. Just hear some of your story. Amelia. <gasps> Amelia? Yeah? This just said your name. A lot of tour guides won't go in that room. <gasps> they just feel uneasy in that room. Spirits, when they're traveling through this house, they get stuck in this room. If someone just did that to Mackie, can you make that REM pod stop? We dinged this bell 13 times to invite the spirits into this room and open a line of communication. My face is like starting to Really? Yeah. I think it's Sarah. I'm still convinced. Yeah. That's where she is, is that corner. Roll out of the seance room. That was, she wants us to leave. Back in 1862, Sarah Winchester, at the age of 23, married the love of her life, William Winchester. The Winchester family was best known for creating the Winchester rifle, also known as the gun that won the West. The rifle was so successful that it made William and Sarah some of the wealthiest people in the world. Four years after getting married, Sarah and William welcomed their first baby girl, who unfortunately, just days after being born, she passed away. Sarah Winchester was never the same after this death. In fact, people at that time say that for the next 10 years, Sarah Winchester teetered on the edge of madness. Tragedy struck again when she lost the love of her life, William. William died of tuberculosis and let's just say Mrs. Winchester almost couldn't handle this. It was unbearable. After William passed away, Sarah Winchester became one of the wealthiest women in America with the fortune that she didn't even know what to do with. She immediately inherited over $20 million. So Sarah went and sought out the help of a medium. She told Sarah that if she didn't pick up and move to the West, the spirits whose lives were taken by that Winchester rifle were destined to haunt her for the rest of her life. They are what took her husband's life, what took her daughter's life, and ultimately, what would take her life. So Sarah picked up, moved out to the West, bought a property in San Jose, which was just a small farmhouse, and that's when she started building what we know today as the Winchester Mystery House. Sarah built some crazy things in this house. The entire place was designed almost as a maze to confused the spirits that were haunting her so that they would get lost. This included stairways to nowhere, doors that would open to 30 foot drops. And Sarah was getting all these crazy ideas of what to build next by contacting these spirits every night at 12 a.m. in her seance room. They would give her instructions and ideas of what she needed to build next in order to keep these spirits confused. At one point, the Winchester Mystery Home was actually seven stories tall until that same earthquake that we talked about on the Berkeley that hit San Francisco, hit San Jose as well, only being 45 minutes away from the city. It completely destroyed a giant percentage of the Winchester house. Not only did it destroy part of the Winchester house, Sarah Winchester was trapped in the rubble of her house after that. It happened to have a fireplace in the room and that fireplace part was so sturdy that that might have been a part of what saved her life that day. Today the Winchester house stands as a three-story structure holding 108 rooms. Sarah did spend the rest of her life building this house every single day, talking to these spirits and basically just trying to stay alive. It wasn't until Sarah peacefully passed away in her sleep that the hammers stopped. 
There are two specific spirits that are rumored to be walking the halls of the Winchester Mansion to this day. One of them being the spirit of an ex-employee named Clyde. Clyde has mainly been experienced in the grand ballroom working on the fireplace or down in the basement below pushing a wheelbarrow full of ash or coal. And of course, the most important spirit of them all, Sarah Winchester herself. The most commonly reported supernatural occurrences are seeing shadowy human-shaped manifestations roaming around corners and appearing in windows or hearing ghostly footsteps coming down the hallways. All in all, the Winchester Mystery House has earned its spot on the top 10 list of most haunted houses in America, and tonight we're going to find out why. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we're Mackie and Amanda. I'm Mackie. I'm Amanda. And we're the Spooky Boos. I'm so excited to be back at the Winchester house this October. We were here last year, so it just kind of feels right. This is by far one of my favorite locations we've ever gone to, so I'm super excited that we have a lot more time later at night and we can really investigate all the rooms. Not even investigate, we have so much planned for this video that Let's just say it's things that we have never done before in any video. Before we go into the house, I just want to mention there's some scary decor in there. That is because the Winchester Mystery House is turning the entire house into a haunted attraction on select nights. So all the decor is out and the house is creepier than ever. Featuring outdoor pre-show festivities and two self-guided tours through the house, this year's show focuses on the many ghost characters who have taken over the Winchester grounds this Halloween. You guys can come and check out this house for yourselves. Go through the haunted maze, hallways. So check out the website. Everything will be in the description below but with that being said I think we go check it out ourselves we've never gone in the front door before so no, let's take the back door here we go this is gonna be a crazy night we enter I think like right near the ballroom area all of our favorite places <laughs> the morning room <laughs> Hello. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Winchester Mystery House. <laughs> Feels good to be here. It's so weird coming in from like this part of the house straight to it. It's yeah. like, wow, there yeah. it is. <laughs> This is the room she passed away on September 5th, 1922. We actually just celebrated the centennial of her passing <gasps> uh, back in September. And we actually had the city of San Jose declare it Sarah Winchester Day. No so it was way. super, super special. We got to like talk about how wonderful and wonderful she was. Seance room. It's so close to her room. Oh, I remember that noise from last year. <laughs> it's so weird that this is the room she came into every single night at midnight. Midnight to 2 a.m. Portal light off. Oh my gosh. Talk about portals. <laughs> There's mirrors everywhere. Which room was this again? This we think might have just been a closet. Um, this kind of goes into the secret passageway that she has hooked up to this. So the seance room has one entrance, but three exits. There's only one way into that room. And the legend had it that Sarah was the only one that had keys in it. So this would have been the only door that somebody could be go into. So she would come in here. And so back then, this one happened here. Uh -huh. um, that was put there for tours. So it kind of would have just blended in with this. Oh. So it would have just looked like another cabinet. Yeah. Um, so if somebody would have opened it, there's no way back inside. Also, the last exit goes directly into the kitchen sink below. Oh my I'm gosh. To I totally would have opened that door and just went. The Hall of Fires. What was the Hall of Fires again? So what we think it is, our historian talks about, so there is one, two, three, four fireplaces Wait. in this hallway. It sounded like someone was whistling. That was so weird. It sounded like someone was totally whistling. It was funny when um, Ryan Bergera, um, he used to work for BuzzFeed, he came um, with the Travel Channel last year and we heard whistling in the house. <gasps> 
and it was super scary. <laughs> no way. And that was like the first like paranormal experience was a whistle. So that's funny. So what our story thinks is that so Sarah, the only letters that we have from her is her kind of talking and writing back to her lawyer and her sister talking about how she couldn't keep the house warm in the winter. Um, and that it was always so cold because the house was so big. And she had really bad arthritis um, in her 40s when she moved out here and then obviously got worse towards the end of her life. We believe that she would have turned on all these fireplaces and she would have found a nice spot over here or somewhere within this place, maybe on that side, um, it kind of just been a warm area. Oh. This was her favorite niece. Um, and she lived with Sarah. Sarah called her Daisy. Her name was Marion? Marion. Marion. And she actually, she married someone um, with the last name Marriott. So she was marrying Marion. <laughs> this looks like um, Stranger Things, like yeah. the upside down. <laughs> what are the top three most haunted rooms that you've heard of. So there's one bedroom on the third floor. Our tours don't, we've never gone to it. Yeah. Um, and a lot of tour guides won't go in that room. Uh -huh. They just feel uneasy in that room. Um, it would have been a worker's room. I could take you guys in there. Oh, we'd Definitely love to. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. In 2019, we actually did a renovation. Uh -huh. um, so everything in here um, was actually found in the storage. So she actually never finished these dining rooms. Oh. Wow. Um, but all of the wallpaper and stuff, so between our historian and uh, a couple other professionals when it comes to like historic preservation, they worked together to kind of put together what they thought Sarah would have wanted it to look like. Aww. So we had all of these windows and stuff in storage that our historian came in here and was like, oh my God, they're supposed to go here. <laughs> this is where she wanted them to go. Yep, all of that is original. Wow. Actually. Yeah. So this kind of goes into our new tour, which we've added. This is a tour, a daily estate tour that people have been asking for, for almost 100 years. <laughs> um, we call it our Walk with Spirits tour. We just kind of wanted to figure out that people for so many years were saying Sarah was crazy, Sarah was crazy, and we do not by any means think that she was crazy. So in this tour, it kind of goes into how if Sarah did practice spiritualism in the Victorian times, it would have not been weird. That was a super common thing to practice back then, and we don't know if she did or didn't practice it. So this is one of the front rooms of the house. It's actually probably one of our best preserved rooms. Wow. Um, super beautiful. It's right near the front door. We kind of set it up of what a wake would have looked like in the Victorian times, because most likely the wake was set up in either this room or the other front wow. room. Sarah passed away in the house, and so did her sister Estelle. So this is um, Victorian morning custom. So this is a hair wreath. Oh, um, this is original. This is yeah. donated to the house. Um, yeah. So do you see this family have blonde hair? Oh my <laughs> god! When people would pass away, they would get it done. It would just get keep getting passed down in the family. So it's possible that Sarah would have had one of these made. Morning was definitely different back then. Oh yeah. Sometimes too, what we talk about uh, for. During Sarah's passing, which oh. awesome. she's this is wrong. Hello everyone. <laughs> this is one of the twin dining rooms. It's just cute to see it. Um I, know, awesome. I think about like all the stuff of Sarah, like if Sarah's spirit is here, her coming back and be like, what are you guys doing? Yeah, like what are you doing oh. here? Because Halloween was a thing in Victorian times, so she doesn't oh. like know would know what it was. She's but not like, this is exactly what I was trying to do. <laughs> yeah. I feel like she'd like it. I think she had a great sense of humor. This is the unfinished room. We have it set up for Halloween right now. Oh, is this one with all the bodies? <laughs> yeah, there's a really creepy uh, puppet show that happens in here. It shows how Sarah went about building and how it was a little bit different than most people. And this is kind of one of the bizarre aspects that people talk about. You can see that Sarah did have an idea of what she wanted to do at one point with this green and yellow texture that she had built. Oh. Um, but instead of painting over it like most people would when they decided they didn't want it, she just built over it. That's so <laughs> That's funny. Crazy. Yeah. She just kept going and going and going. This is original. She's super cool. Touch. How many people did she have working in this house? So we actually don't know that exact number. Um, we only have records of a few of the people that worked for her, but we knew mm -hmm. it was a bunch. Um, so this is one that makes me kind of like giddy inside when I talk about it. Sarah was the coolest person ever. Aww. She was super progressive, super ahead of her time. 
she actually, at the time when she was hiring people to work in this house as caretakers, she was paying the highest wage in, the, in Northern California. Um, and she also offered room and board. If you were single, you lived in the house with her. And if you had a family, she would either buy a house that was on the property or she would build one for you. That's it. Oh my God. I'm Sarah Winchester professor. So I know. All right, bring her back. Three square meals a day. What? Um, you and your entire family, on top of being paid. You gotta feel like she didn't really, like she lost her family, you know? Yeah, but she kind of created one. Yeah, yeah she, she totally did. Wonderful. Yeah. Also, she gave a lot of money to charity. She actually would send letters to the lawyer of how much she wanted to go to different charities all throughout the U.S. Um, she never wanted her name on anything. Oh. So people didn't know that she gave all this money until after she passed away and they found those letters. Wow. Yeah. What a good person. She was, she was. She also had a sister named Isabel that lived in the house with her for, this, for a period of time. Um, her daughter was actually Daisy Marion. Tell us more. <laughs> I don't know. So she had two sisters. Yes, so she, she had more than two sisters, but um, we don't have a picture of Estelle, which I wish we did. But Isabel was very different from her sister Sarah. She was very giving and very loving and stuff, but she was she was more of a people person. She was actually the director of the Humane Society in San Jose when she, oh. she was director at one point. At that time, they didn't just rescue animals, they also rescued children. <gasps> she was also the first white member of the NAACP when it came to Santa Clara. Oh my gosh. Don't put me on this. If, California was the first state to give the women the right to vote. Um, I didn't grow up in California. So <laughs> when that happened, Isabel and Daisy, we have their um, voter registration and they were one of the oh first Oh my gosh. Sarah didn't build the house from scratch. Um, she bought a little teeny tiny little three bed farmhouse. These steps that we're standing on right now were the original back porch steps of that house. Oh. One of the things that you can see that kind of goes back and kind of showing how huge the house is and how much she built onto it. So if you stand on these, this back porch step and you look back, you can see how much she okay, added. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it keeps going after that. That pumpkin is a little... That's so crazy. <laughs> so this is Clyde. This okay. is like the infamous ghost that we see. Um, that tour um, guests and tour guides have said that they've seen for years. Where is he normally seen? So he's usually seen on this staircase right over here by us. Um, he's seen in the ballroom fixing the fireplace, or he's seen downstairs in the basement with his wheelbarrow. He's very kind. I think he has super Aww. kind eyes. Yeah, he looks like a super nice yeah, man. Super, super nice. Gosh, there's so many, there's just so much stuff to look at. This is the carriage house. So you can see, if you look down at the floor, you can see how it has these ridges yeah. um, to help the horses not trip. <laughs> so yeah, so she they I love that. There's something weird about these steps, wasn't there? They're, well, they're tiny. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. Just, so um, they're called easy risers. Um, so Sarah, oh again, she had that really bad arthritis. Right. Here's the staircase to nowhere. You guys are all going up there if you want. Just don't hit your head. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, this mirror is trippy. Yeah. <laughs> so crazy. This is one of three pictures that we have of Sarah Winchester, and this is the only one that we have of her in her old age. Was she, was she blonde or brunette? Uh, we believe Burnett with the colorized version that we have upstairs of her younger picture. Um, you can see she was only 4'10". Oh. Um, so you can see her feet. So little, <laughs> their little toes. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, they're not touching. <laughs> you sing the rock. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this no picture was taken right outside of these stores. Oh, no way. This is actually one of the same glass windows. We have a huge collection of people in the same glass windows in the house. This one, we believe, they're actually designed for herself. Um, and it kind of goes into, it has a spread web motif that she loves. And it also has 13 droplets, which also, you guys, I think you guys remember yeah. her love for the number of Um, Just like the other side. Norway is so small. So small. It's a very long way to only get to the second floor. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do to make it up, though. Exactly. <laughs> What do you call them? Easy risers. Yeah, but this is the switch back staircase. The oh, switch, switch back. back. Um, also, the goofy, the goofy staircase. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I feel like I'd fall down more on these than normal stairs. Wait, look at me looking at this. Ooh. Look at me looking at this. Ooh. Look at me looking at this. Ooh. Oh. Look at me looking at this window. So does the Halloween like the scare thing? Does it go through these too? Yes. Oh my gosh, I feel like you can yeah. get so scared on these. Yes. Yeah, so this year it's also self-guided. Um, which is so super cool. super awesome. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so creepy. It is. Really scary. <laughs> Make sure you guys, if you're in San Jose, come to the scare here because. So, this is the hayloft. Doesn't usually look like this. <laughs> but back there, um, right below us, is the stables. Sarah owned a couple of horses. We have pictures, obviously, with her carriages and stuff. There are 13 bathrooms in the house. Um, of course, there are. Yes, exactly. And this is the only bathroom with a shower. Um, at the time, this was super ahead of its time. Not many people had showers. Everything was baths. Um, the coolest thing about this, she was only 4'10". Mm -hmm. So this was made specifically just for her height. At the time, people didn't, they, women had those big hairdos. They didn't want to, their hair to oh, be Oh, that's women. amazing. So they would go a while without washing their hair or they would have it professionally washed. There's little holes all throughout here. And it was made perfectly that it would hit her shoulders oh, and her hair wouldn't get wet. That's so <laughs> so she would just stand and go like this. We need to bring that back. I know, right? right? It's amazing. So we're actually coming right back onto her bedroom. Oh, okay. It's crazy how it loops around. I literally have no <laughs> idea where I am. <laughs> I know. I'm so, I'm so turned around. Right? So I'm yeah. in the spirit. Oh my gosh, what the heck? And we also, since we're going to be the last people to be in a house tonight, um, we have a tradition in the house that you have to say goodnight to Sarah. So people say goodnight Sarah, and then when they open in the morning, you say, Hi Sarah, morning Sarah. <laughs> so we are going to have to say goodnight right. Sarah. I'm okay, okay with that. Look at this little door. <laughs> what do you keep in there? Harry Potter. Oh. oh. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're going up here. Okay. <laughs> of course we are. I know where we heard that noise. Okay, perfect. Is this three stories or four stories? Technically, it's a basement. With the basement, it's four stories. Okay. Um, but before the 1906 earthquake, this house was seven stories. Oh. Me and my boss. Throughout the summer, we kind of created this thing called a Medium Friday, and I would invite local mediums to come and just tour the house. And I would just make notes of what they said. Usually, all of our documentation of people talking about the Clyde, the Leo Burgos, and stuff, it's just a tour guide that could mm -hmm. have been a medium or just anyone that was sensitive to spirits telling the tour guide that they saw someone. So, I really wanted to get like a breakdown of local mediums of them talking about what they see uh -huh. and see if any of them match up. Two of the mediums said this specific hallway had a little girl and a little boy that were playing hide and go seek. They were using these little doors, oh. um, but we do have a lot of people talk about how, I think every single medium that we had, they talked about all the children that were on the estate, but specifically this one little girl that they kept seeing. One of them said she was in this blue party dress and they saw her twirling in the ballroom. But yeah, there was, again, like how there were so many families that lived on the estate. Mm -hmm. There definitely was children in the house. Yeah, that's cool. That's sick. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> wow. So this is a fan favorite of the house of guests that come in for. Um, this is personally one of my favorite rooms. Um, we don't know what this room is used for. It's right near like their version of an employee, her version of an employee lounge. It's definitely different than any other room in the house, so you gotta think that maybe it was used for something special. We call it a witch's cap because it looks like a witch's hat from the outside. I like it. There's an acoustic thing in here. Oh, Ooh. there it is. If you stand right here, you can hear yourself talk. <gasps> the way that you sit here, stand. Okay, I want to try it. Very okay, okay, okay. Hello, hello. Whoa. That's so weird. You feel it? That's <laughs> so cool. Feels like you have like a microphone. Yeah, and it's going to Oh my gosh, ear. yeah. Like oh weird. my gosh, you have to try it. Hello, hello. Oh my gosh, hello, hello. <laughs> I can't even, it's like, 
Is this thing on? It and no. So you're standing here. If anyone's ever played video games on live and you hear yourself in the headset, that's this what it sounds exactly like. What it you come up here and sing all the time. Yeah. Um, so this is a part of the Walk of Spirits tour. So the tour guide will go into death photography and oh. spirit photography in the Victorian times. That's probably super common. Oh he, no. Mary Lincoln. You can see Abraham Lincoln yeah. <laughs> right there. Is that um, so there was a, a spirit photographer, I'm forgetting the guy's name, but he specifically did these photographs where he claimed that you could take a picture of you and your dead loved one would show up in the picture. Oh um, my gosh. And it got so big that obviously the president's wife yeah. <laughs> did it and commissioned one to happen through this guy after Abraham Lincoln passed away. Um, you can see him. It looks yeah. Just like Abraham no, Lincoln. No, that is so How weird. How do you do it? So that's kind of the big mystery is that, so the guy was actually thrown in jail and I, I don't know how long he was in jail, but people thought he was like a con man. Like, how did yeah. you do this? People were like, there's no way this is legit. There's no way this is real. You're taking all this money from people. But there's, it's not like they had Photoshop. They didn't have Photoshop. So no one still doesn't know how he did it. Like, <laughs> I could not explain that. Yeah. Like he couldn't like go on his computer and edit it. No. Maybe he was just like a medium yeah. or something and it's somehow like... I don't know. I'm it really was a gift. Super interesting. Yeah, you can see like this, these two ladies got it done and there's a gentleman that's right above them. Some people like are much clearer than others yeah. too. Yes. And like that's kind of how I experience spirits. Really? Some people come through much clearer than others. There's some people I can see and... They look like the person that they were, like Abraham Lincoln, or yeah. sometimes they look just like a shadow, or they're more faint, like that one above, or literally just a shadow, like that one. This is like the equivalent of an employee lounge that Sarah yeah. had built for them. It is up to par with how beautiful the rest of the house is. This is a room that most likely Sarah probably never went into, um, because it was for her employees to relax and kind of lay back, pick up their feet, play cards, or do whatever. She wanted them to have beautiful things just like she did, which also wasn't common back then. Oh my god. That doll's oh, art. It oh, is kind of it's creepy though. Okay, the help <laughs> one messes me up. <laughs> this is um, the head housekeeper's office. Um, that we have this little creepy doll. That yeah. looks like right now her chair. It looks like the death photography. Yes. That's what it, it reminds me of. It like, for sure does. So Sarah actually didn't leave anyone the house in her will. Funny, Sarah with her birthdays. Um, oh, yeah, so the yeah, house kind of just, you can still hear it. Yeah, it just happened again. Is it a Halloween noise maybe, or is it? The Halloween noises, there's no noises upstairs on. Halloween. It's super loud, it's like I heard it. Shh. The shh. only noise is the Sam's room noise. That's no, I no it sounded like that. a thud and then a drag. Yeah. Is oh, a gentleman bought the house. He was actually just gonna knock it down and he was <gasps> gonna take the land. Um, Could you he imagine? Like, he was going to build an amusement park. And then everyone in the town in San Jose was like, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> please don't. Like, we really want to see what's inside this house. This woman was super quiet. He realized all of the people that wanted to come and see this beautiful creation. Okay, so the house opened up in 1923 for tours. They found this door in the Grand Ballroom. They finally got this locked door open. They opened it. They saw this huge safe. <laughs> and they were like, oh my gosh, what's inside of it? Finally got that opened. Oh. Another safe, another oh fireproof my gosh. safe. This was completely locked. Couldn't get it opened. Finally got it open. It's really heavy. No way. Another um, safe. Obviously, in their minds, they were all the people that were working on opening the safe. They're like, "What in the world? Be something amazing? Or just yeah. what could be in here? Yeah. Like, what is possibly in here?" Finally, opened the last door. There was only three things in the safe. It was 
the obituary for her daughter, mm -hmm. her husband, and a lock of her daughter's hair that passed away. Oh. Um, so it kind of is like a, sh that's also just a wonderful story about showing you the person that Sarah was. She was one of the richest women in the world. The thing that meant the most to her was her family. That's so her sweet. Those prized possessions. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So Amanda actually had possibly an experience with her earlier in the hotel. Right before here, I was like, oh, do I wash my hair today? Do I curl it? Like I straightened it yesterday. All these decisions. It's too big of a decision. I'm just gonna wash it. So got in the shower and I'm washing my hair. And the second felt like I bought my shampoo and I'm like scrubbing my head, I feel a woman like kind of like be present. I don't see her, so like, I don't want to say it was Sarah Winchester. You know what I mean? But definitely like. Definitely was a woman. All of a sudden, I just got this overwhelming sense that she was like, hey, thanks for getting ready. You know, like, like mm -hmm. you know, yeah. a little dressed up yeah. with me. Yeah. 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 It was so odd, and I was like, I didn't want to say it was Sarah because I didn't see her or anything, but then when she was like, thanks for getting ready for me, you know, I was like, okay, then I have to be seeing this person tonight, so it's so gotta be her, right? Oh my gosh, that makes me feel guilty for all the mornings that I walk around, like, by myself with a cup of coffee, like, the days I wake up late with no makeup. I feel like I was, like, a little more of a guest, so I'm like, oh, I, I gotta wash my yeah. hair, yeah. you know? And did you say she was just, like, more appreciative that we, like, took time yeah, to, like, pick like, our outfits and... Like, yeah, last night we were like, should we match? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which we never do. No, also. never. <laughs> I think if there was a person that would appreciate that and think about that and like notice when somebody was being kind in that way just for dressing up for her, I think she would have been that person. We've decided to start in the ballroom. Last year we caught something pretty crazy in this room. You actually said you saw the shadow of a child right over here. Oh my gosh, I remember this. And looking back at the footage, you can full on see this shadow that you were talking about. It's one of the most clear shadow figures we've caught to date. Really? So, yeah. Should we do Blue Bunny considering the child is over here? Yeah, we should. Literally, it was caught right here. I, I totally remember. Yeah. I'm Mackie. Amanda. Hey, Boo Buddy. Hey, Boo Buddy. Our dragon. Okay, think? wait, did you hear that? Yeah, the dragon again. Just so you guys know, we are the only ones here. Completely alone. Sounds like hammering. That was so loud. That was weird. That was crazy. That sounds like someone is working. <laughs> Call me crazy. No, it does. I think in front of the fireplace. Alright. Oh, temperature change. I heard change. that. It's cold in here. You just recorded temperature change. Here. The dining room area. Right. Oh, something touched his tummy. Touch his it tummy. said, "Can you touch my tummy?" Yeah. Okay, let's go in. Okay, it's calibrating. calibrating. Someone's in here for sure. Someone's in there. Yeah, I just. Can you say that again, please? It's the child. I just saw them over here. Kind of by that blue chair. Go near that red dot that we have placed on the floor over there in front of the fireplace. It's one of our new toys that we brought. Could you do that to let us know that you're here? Let's just watch someone in there. Where? By that chair. All right, the little kid. Can it? You follow me over here to this REM pod? No freaking way. It's temperature. And that's very good. Can you do it again? The EMF's going off. Can you put a little bit more energy? House. House. It's just a house. Yes, we are in a house. That's Boo Buddy. You can go up and grab his hand. All is well. All is well. You can go up and grab his hand that, or... I just want to say really fast, that's so like crazy for me because I'm that noise is really concerning me to where I'm like, 
earthquake. Yeah, which obviously it's not, but it just like really makes me nervous. Where I'm like, oh, old. <gasps> Just said you can go up and grab his hand. Wait, should we bring the music box in here? Yeah. See me. See, See me. me. Yes, Amanda's been seeing you. I think she even saw you last year, and but I even saw you over her camera. I said it there because he's going between the bear and the rum pod. He'll walk right by it. Perfect. Who are you? <sighs> My name's Amanda. I'm Mackie. Do you remember seeing us last year, maybe? I feel like you do. Is that Adam? It sounds like it feels like someone's walking behind you. I like music. Oh. oh my god. If you like music, would you want to set up this music box? Yes. <gasps> yes! Alright, go ahead. We'll wait for you to do it. I'll just show you one more time. You just have to walk right in front of it like that. Someone just walked that way. Right here. That's where I saw their feet. Is your name Adam? Yes, I can. How about we count down from five and once we get to one, you set that off? Sorry, I'm like listening. I'm not. Did you hear someone talking? Yeah. I heard that too, like upstairs. Five, five four, four, three, two, two one. one. That is so loud. Eli. 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 Eleven. Eleven. Are you eleven years old? Oh, the cat ball. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh! You know I just said eleven. The camera battery is on eleven percent. Pay attention. Oh, we weren't paying attention. I turned around to see the end of the cat ball going off and it took me like four, like three minutes to figure out that the camera battery was 11. You're not paying attention to me. Oh my God, we weren't. All right, we're, we'll we're pay so attention. Sorry. Oh, oh, cat ball. Oh cat ball. <laughs> start paying more attention. In exchange, can you go near that red light that we have on the floor right there? It said wave. Wave? Did it get colder in here? <gasps> Temperature change. All right, we're waving to you. Hi. Can you wave back to us by setting off one of our devices? Can you <gasps> <noise> for me? <gasps> All right, we see you waving. Hi. Thank you for uh, setting off that, going to that red light. Like, I'm a friend. You're I'm a friend. I feel like it's copying his color blind. Really? Yeah. Secret. Jenny. 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 Well, Jenny. our camera battery is draining so fast. I, like, I didn't even think to bring another one down here with us right now. Do we need to grab a battery? Yeah, we have 6%. We should put one now and we can finish up the camera. What? What? Oh. The second I turn the camera off, the spirit box says I worked here. Which a, a lot of the reports are that spirits that come back or reside here could be workers or the like most Clyde. famous spirit here. Yeah, yeah, it's Clyde himself. Which you're talking about finishing up here and going somewhere else. So maybe that's Clyde saying like, hey, I was a worker here and maybe you should come to my area. Equipment. Yeah, this is all equipment before we're calling it toys and now it's coming through with equipment. I saw that too. There was just a flash right here. We both saw it. Like big enough that. Okay, that was weird. That was bright. That was really. That has like a. Oh. I feel like in a while. Yeah. That was like a bright, bright flash. So bright. Is there a dog bark? Really? <gasps> you weren't in the room upstairs. You were in the bathroom when. She was showing me a drawing someone did of the Winchester house with the dog sitting there. And I was like, oh my gosh, what kind of dog is that? And it was, it was Sarah Winchester's dog. Can you set off what your favorite toy is in here? 
REM pod. Super loud. That's one of my favorites too. If you go up near it and you grab that, it'll light up all different colors. It'll also still <laughs> Carl. Carl. It said Carl twice. Two times in a row. Literally on the screen it says Carl Carl. It's never done that. Uh-uh. There's, there's a portal up here. Where in this room? Next to us, the walkway. Look underneath that chandelier, that first chandelier. Mm-hmm. Right there. Mm -hmm. Do you use the portal that's over there in that room? I think a lot of things do. Really? Okay, I'm gonna ask you one more time, then I'll stop. Can you put in a little bit more energy to that, make it light up green? All right, go ahead. 15 seconds starts now. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> okay, that wasn't the green light, but that was still pretty good. It probably takes a lot of energy for you to do that, so. I'll say that's good enough for us. I'll say that's. I'll say that's. You can make it stop if you want. Carl, if that's you, do you have anything else you want to say to us? What do you want to say to us? What? Did you say something? <sighs> Please say it again. Oh, I heard someone. Were you just next to me I saying something? I wonder if Clyde came through his car and that's why it came oh, through twice. Oh, and he tried again and it just wasn't working. Uh-huh, and he's frustrated and it's been silent ever. Yeah, it has. Because I'm like so confident that his name is not Carl. Yes. That was loud. That was really loud. Am I right? Is this Clyde? Step away in three, two. <laughs> It was like he was confirming yes, and then he just went back to it because he said it was his favorite toy in here. Someone's sitting in that bench right there. Again. I saw the oh my gosh. I saw the kid Let me put the cap all there. Somebody else has come in. It's so cold right there. Can you make this stop for a little bit? There's a woman that's here and I'm trying to get her name. I just saw her very well behind that chair standing in front of that walkway. Okay, I'm gonna describe it and it's not Mrs. Winchester. I want to okay. be that clear. She's in a black dress. But her face was like bright white. Oh. Like really startled me. It looked like someone could have been wearing a mask. Do you know? Yeah, like those phantom masks. Yes. Can you say her name? I physically like heard someone over there first. Do you think we should go to a different room? I oh. All right, oh my gosh. Clyde, if that's you, and you want us to go to a different room, step away from that room pod and make it stop beeping like you have. In three, three two, two, one. All right, that was pretty spot on. I think he wants us to maybe go somewhere and talk to him. I just saw that woman again. Where? Same spot, exact same spot. It's weird that this isn't saying a word. It's kind of freaking me out. Me too. I say we go find Clyde and maybe even this woman. You can follow us to the next location if you want. Ready? Yes. <laughs> I know you'll never stop. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. 
right. This is a creepy place. Did she think that California had tornadoes? I know. point of this area? Like just store stuff? Uh, so when we get over to the other side of the basement, so there's two basements actually, this is the biggest basement. So there's a boiler on the other side, which is how the house was kept warm. Pretty much workers would just be down here primarily to just keep the house warm and work on the boiler. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is creepy. What's going on in here? Just wash your head. Okay. So this is sort of the walk with spirit store. The tour guide kind of talks about Clyde and how people throughout the years have seen it. And they also test with these lollipops have you guys ever done this before i think we did it okay at did the stanley idea from the Stanley. Children of this house for sure like lollipops. So everyone in the circle sits around, we all get a lollipop, and we ask if one of the children will knock it down. A lot of people are scared to go this way. Um, really? There's a lot of like, outdoors. Oh my god, this is creepy. Yeah, this is creepy. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Tour guides and guests usually say that they see Clyde walking up and down this same alley um, with their wheelbarrow. I think we set up in this hallway where so many people have seen Clyde walking by with his little wheelbarrow, working hard. Why do I feel like Clyde would like the Galsian rods? Something about the rusticness. All right, that. maybe we do that too. Oh, Bo just touched a spider. No, he did not. Swear. Okay. Spur. Clyde is definitely down here. He is? Yeah. I'd had a child. Clyde did? Uh huh, maybe not this year, I don't think, but I feel like you had a child that you didn't see a lot. So I was sitting by our camera. Uh, to the left of it. Well, the right of it. On the left. There's two people down here at least. One up to my left. Before we start asking questions, we do have a music box placed right on the other side of this wall. If you walk in front of it, it will play music. He is far too busy doing his own thing. Okay to stop and do that, but if he gets caught walking by it, he's okay with that. Okay. Right. Isn't that weird? Yes, that's really weird. Like, why is he in such a Why is he so busy? What are you doing, well, I guess Clyde? he's a hard worker. What are you doing, Clyde? I'm holding these dowels and rod. Just <laughs> 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 learn. <laughs> so snapped. Can you open them for yes and close them for no? Cross them for no. All right. Can you straighten them out, please? And we'll start asking some questions. What to put them in the starting position, which is straight. and the child is down here um, but mostly you Clyde we came down from the ballroom to see what's up you know that this is the area that you are seeing most in all of a sudden there's something so much in my eye I don't necessarily have any questions but just hear some of your story Amelia oh. Oh, um, Amelia yeah? this just said your name Yes, I did. No, we did not. It, it just did. said Amelia. Oh my god. Do you... <laughs> no, it didn't. Yeah, oh, she had it. it. I'm screenshotting it. For myself. I it spelt it wrong, but it said it. It said it totally right. Yeah. No, but I listen over the this, this thing. <laughs> this thing. Most the majority of the time, it spells things wrong. So that is. It just says. You'll see in the video that he said Amelia. Except we just showed all that's the first thing that it said. <laughs> you want to go back here? <laughs> that is so crazy. Also, that's like a not common name. Right? I don't know at all. I cannot believe this thing said that. <laughs> Do you know Amelia? You can cross for no, open for yes. <sighs> oh. 
we always oh say like you cross for no, open for yes, or open wide for a big yes is usually the next thing we say. Yeah, that thing just opened right up. Do you yeah. like Amelia? Open for yes, big yes is a big all the way open. Cross for no. I feel like like they've got to, you know what I mean? They're, they were workers here and now yes. you're taking <laughs> over the house. They like you. Wyatt. 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 So tour guide's actually nicknamed Clyde, so we don't know his real name. Oh. Oh, oh interesting. Is your real name Wyatt? The one they refer to as Clyde? I feel like no. I feel like no. Cross for no, open for yes, if your name is Wyatt. The name Carl came through twice, remember? Yeah, true. Are we in your way? Is all of our stuff in your way? You can just walk right over it, don't, don't worry about it. Yeah, you, yeah. You, you won't break it or bother us. Were those noises we just heard? Was that you? Oh, you're Don't this. tell people. Don't tell people. <laughs> don't what? tell them what? Is there something you don't want us to share or something that you want to be kept private? What was that? That was behind me. I don't know. That was like a. <sighs> what don't you want people to know? Maybe his name? Oh. Connie. Connie? Connie. Oh. Connie. Um. I almost feel like uh, upstairs we had one or two very specific things that we were talking to and down here it's almost like there's multiple people working or passing through and we're picking up bits and pieces of maybe their conversations. Is she right? Open it for yes, close it for no. Amanda's right with what she just said. A little yes. Yeah. It's like going slowly. It is, it's weird because it was really right. steady yeah. over there. It like moves a little bit and then stops and then goes a little bit more like someone's literally holding on the ends. Can you tell us anything about your life? Anything about yourself or anything that you'd want us to know? If there's a reason that you wanted us to come down here. Okay. Are you happy to have Amelia down here? Control. Control? I must feel like they're also like they have control over them. Mm -hmm. yeah. huh? Yes. Cross them, please. Look into the shape of an X. Is that the sound effect? That breath? No, I... Oh. No. Did you hear it? Like... Ah. Look into the shape of an X. Look into the shape of an X. Big. big. Yeah, that was a big sigh. Cross it. That was not you. Open it if it was. going in to cross and the left one was going out to say yes. I mean, there's like one that was like, no, that wasn't me. Another one that was like, yes. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. That was very weird. I know you. I have such a major stomach ache down here. Really? Yeah. You? It's the only place that like, I don't know what that would be. Is there anything else you want us to know before we move on? Cross if you want us to stay down here longer, open if you want us to move on to a different portion of the house. I love it. Uh, Why is it don't following you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I do thank you.
It seems to like Amelia. Oh my god, there's a bug on me! Let's get out of here! Those aren't Halloween decorations. <laughs> no, that was real. That's funny too, because a lot of people call me Emilia. Really? No one ever says Amelia. So this is the original boiler of the house. Oh. This was like the core of what kept the house as warm as possible. Again, even if it kept it as warm as possible, it still wasn't warm enough because it's so big. So the better that floor is going to go on, um, it's kind of like a place in the house. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. oh my god, that scared me so bad. Really? In the bedroom? Just because it's a place that I don't usually go to. It's that bedroom right there. Oh god. That just has a weird. Oh, the camera wouldn't focus on it. It might have, um,. It might be dirty in there. Just That's <laughs> fine. You guys can All right. go ahead and go. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. oh, my God. Is this the door that, no or the door that drops? No, no, no. That's on the other side of the house. Watch for guys. There's just a lot of weird energy in here. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh... I don't know. Oh, it might have oh. been a plumbing thing, I guess, but that's actually weird. Just this way. It goes very deep. Oof. It does. But you guys can, you guys have fun. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I know, me too. Look at this chair. Close in it. Let me sit for a minute and catch a vibe. All right. Oh, I would not. Uh, my name's Amanda. I just heard a breath in the closet. This is Mackie. I'm Mackie. It's because something is frustrated with us. That's why you heard that. Really? It was like a... Why are you frustrated with us? Because... With us. Because with us. Because it's kind of just frustrated with us. It's frustrated with the situation that's in right now. All right, oh f I don't want to open this. <sighs> there is a breeze, just a warm like, whew, that just came out of the closet at me. I almost feel like a lot of the energy that people are feeling when they come into this room. It's a lot of spirits, energies, like entities, like when they're traveling through this house. Crap ball. <gasps> they get stuck in this room. Really? Like it's like tra almost trapped here. I don't know if it's like they're stuck or lost or confused. I have the worst headache in here. It's this trapped, stale energy. Like that's the best word to describe is stale. stale. Are you trapped in here? Do you, is it hard for you to get out of this room? And we sorry, and they're frustrated about it. We turn on that cap all again. If, the, if this whole situation is very frustrating to you, flashlight turn on. Oh, right, that works too. My heart just started pounding. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Somebody just pulled my hand. Oh my god, are you serious? I swear. That bold, like, kept like continuously touched it. Like, oh my gosh, I hated that. Nothing's allowed to touch me or me. You're not allowed to touch us, but try using any of our devices to get that across. The pink flashlight is on this chest. Pebble. Oh my gosh, instead of touching us, you put it on there. So, thank you for that. You can try to set off this. No, wait, I, I don't want you to be frustrated. Like, I want you to see that there's a door right there. Know that it's not locked. You're able to walk right through it, straight out, and you're not stuck in this room. So you don't need to be frustrated. If you understand, can you touch that cat ball again that's in that closet? Or if you're gonna head out the door, you can walk over to that door and we have a red light in front of it. 
Oh my god. I saw god. it over, which is why I threw oh that option. Oh my god. Very good. You can step away now, just for a minute. And if you want to leave, that's the door. That was weird. It's really weird. Why did I get confused in here? What know. is it about this room that makes them have all Couple. That makes them act like that. I don't know. Did you hear that in there? Yeah, like a scratch, right? Yes. Yeah, totally. Flashlight. So when you came in? Are they trapped too, or are they just coming in to see what we are doing? I don't know if they're trapped. They just got here. Like, it seems like they're checking us out. <sighs> We're just here to hang out and hopefully help you guys. For the new guy, my name's Mackie. My name's Amanda. Can you tell us what your name is? Can you? Oh my god, somebody just poked the back of my leg. It felt like a pinprick. It's like right here, it felt like a pinprick. Did someone just do that to me? If someone just did that to Mackie, can you make that REM pod stop? You do not have permission to touch me like that. And we're gonna leave. We're out. We're not gonna put up with that just because somebody's yep. frustrated. I mean, this cat ball, we gotta keep this in light right here. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. The cat ball. Cat ball's on. <laughs> But dude, as I'm saying, I'm nervous to reach my hand in there and grab it. Maybe there was a reason you were nervous. Yep. All right, we out. It feels like hot right here. Like try reaching your hand right there. Like if you just leave it there for a second, are you getting like a that warm, like tingly feeling almost? Yeah. No. That's really weird. All right, let me grab it. Yeah, I had that like tingly, warm feeling. Mm. Oh gosh, all right. Right, when you go to both devices, they go off. Temperature warning on the camera. No way. It's freezing in here. It's cold. Interesting, a little more eventful in the basement for oh, sure. Really? It's so funny because you guys said the thing about scratching. Um, yes. That's yeah. People, I didn't tell oh, you about that. Oh my gosh, it just sounded like someone said, like knocked on the door or pushed on it. Nope, nope. Tour guys have told me that they hear scratching. Oh, room. no you way. Yeah, and you guys, that was the first time. No way. It's so calming in here. <laughs> I, know, I know, it's so nice. It's like so refreshing. Okay, oh my god, the body on the oh, ground. Oh god. god. <laughs> just <laughs> ignore it. We have made it to Sarah Winchester's bedroom. This is one of my favorite rooms. We've just been talking about all night how it feels so cozy and warm and welcoming. Which is an odd thing to say considering Sarah spent her last night, her, took her last breath right in this room in that bed. I feel like that's the best way to go out in the comfort of your own home and your own bed. And I feel like that there couldn't be a more peaceful way to go. I'm gonna take you out. It's 1042. She passed away at 1045. <gasps> oh! Sorry that we ended up in here at the time. Oh, that's, that's super weird. weird. That is really weird that we ended up in here. In three time. minutes. In three okay. minutes. Okay, so maybe, yeah, we, we uh, sit down, we set everything up, and at 1045, we open a line of communication with Mrs. Winchester. Right. Wait, what time is it right now? It's 1045. Oh my gosh. Right. It's overheating. That is so weird. I know. It's not hot in this house at all. It's not, so we're just gonna film on both cameras and hope for the best. So we've set up some devices, actually two, on the bed. We have our REM pod, our cat ball. Sarah Winchester. We have been in your house all night. If you're here and you're open and willing to having a conversation with us, you can let us know by Setting off any of these devices that I named earlier. We've added on this flashlight right here. Do you feel like she's in here? The two on the bed. I don't. I know. Where do you think she is? 
<laughs> I'm like, where do you have, what, do you have anything like, better to do? I wonder if she's like in the seance room because that's where she talked to spirits. Sarah, if you do want to talk and you're somewhere in this house right now, would you be able to come up here and give us a sign just so we know that you want to and then we can try to figure out if there's a different room you'd rather talk to us in? I knew it was gonna be the flashlight. <laughs> I saw you turn to it. Okay, so. REM pod. And the REM pod. EMF, too. Yeah. So, you'd rather us go to a different room to talk to you? Or if you want us to stay here, turn on that pink flashlight. Did you hear that? I sound like a door opening. Close. Yeah, I didn't hear that at all. Really? Really? Did you hear that? Mm -mm. Really? No. You've like got door. little dog ears, I swear. Dog it's no, it's ears. impressive. No, it definitely is. Internal temp too high, allow it to cool. No. Why is it overheating? It's pretty cold in here, I yeah. feel like. Did I hear you open or close a door down there? Did we hear what a door open or close then last time in that That hall? seems very vaguely familiar. Can you, if, that, is that, if that's what happened, can you turn on our flashlight? Five, four. Oh, there it goes. So she did open a door. I wonder if it, she touched a door that to the room that she wants us to go to. Flashlight turned off. Maybe make a knock in the room you want us to go to. I have no idea how we're supposed to figure this out. There's so many rooms. Sarah, would you be willing to talk to us in here for a little bit? Turn on the flashlight if you'd be okay with that. Talking to us in here. If you want us to go to the third floor, will you turn on one of our devices? Okay, they just, I just got the coldest breeze right here. You want us to stay on the second floor, turn on any of our devices. Three, two, one. Is, was there ever a parlor here? A parlor? Yeah, like a drinking room or... Yeah, the, uh, the front parlor's downstairs. I just kind of started seeing um, like wine barrels, like a, like a wine cellar, which I didn't get the sense that it was specifically a wine cellar that like that image meant, but just a bar or a room where like people would drink. Do you want us to find the wine cellar and bar parlor? Any type of room like that, that could be considered having to do with alcohol. If you want us to find that room, will you turn on one of our devices? If you want us to find that room, will you turn on one of our devices? If you want us to find that room, will you turn on one of our devices? I'll give you 15 seconds once again. Go ahead. Or I just, I wonder why they were talking about it. Why she was talking about it. Yeah. What it has to do with anything. Ooh, okay. Does that mean she wants us to go there? Flashlight. Yeah. Nothing has gone on for like a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I think we have to go find it. <laughs> what room do you think I'd be talking about? Like I'm describing. Probably. The front room yeah. by the grand ballroom, which okay. I guess would be by the kitchen. So. Is that right? Is, so. this, is that the correct room? Turn on the flashlight or REM pod or any of the devices if that is the correct room. We have a Venetian dining room. We haven't been in there. If it's a dining room, turn on the flashlight. But if it's the morning room or the parlor, Turn on that REM pod. We'll give you 20 seconds. Ooh, feeling generous, yeah. are you? Yeah, well, you know. Flashlight. Dining room. Okay, so, so the dining room. Dining room. Dining room. We also okay. haven't gone in there yet. Yeah, all right. Well, that can mean <laughs> something. To the Venetian dining room we go. All right. <gasps> Mrs. Winchester, if that's you, can you step away from that REM pod? Mrs. Winchester, if that's you, can you step into this room? <laughs> What'd you 
say it's imitation <laughs> spiritual flattery? That is what I said. All right, this is Winchester, Sarah. I put on your dress. <laughs> Do you have anything to say now? <laughs> Can you turn on the rum powder cap all or flashlight if you like my outfit, please? Ooh, crickets. I think you look great. Thanks. Don't you think Maggie looks great? I think she has a great sense of style. Okay, maybe not how I look, but the style. Do you like the style? <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys twins? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you actually look really good at this. Oh <laughs> Wait, let, let's try something else. Okay. William Winchester. <laughs> William Winchester. We have Mackie in a dress that looks pretty similar to something your lovely Sarah would wear. Anyone? <laughs> oh, sorry, Mackie. Oh, oh flashlight. Oh, <laughs> that's something. It turned on. And then turned off. Yeah, sure it did. I just <laughs> happened to miss it. <laughs> if you guys want Mackie to leave, oh, it's <laughs> like that was you. Okay, I got excited. You did not think imitation was the sincerest form of flattery, which is what my mom always told me. <laughs> Do you want us to go into the dining room? Oh, that's me. <laughs> is anyone in here? <laughs> is anyone listening to us? I really feel like there is, but I, I flashlight. Yeah, okay, flashlight, there is, but I also just feel like, okay, I feel like that was them being like, yeah, we're here, like. They just don't like it. Yeah, I hate no, you. it wasn't me, because I'm standing still. Was, are you sure it wasn't your hand? Wave it around. Okay, <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> Someone tell us what to do. Like, aw, no one thought we were funny. This wasn't meant to be funny. I'm changing. <laughs> that was super sad for you. <laughs> so there's a bunch of people here and she was like cleansing the space. Okay, well, real quick, are you happier now that oh the flashlight went on that I took off the dress? I don't remember taking you guys in the dining I don't think we did either. It's really that's where we think that she um, had most of her meals towards the end of her. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, we have not been in here. I don't think ever. So Sarah was a big traveler in her life. Um, so we believe that she took because this is. This room is the only room in the house that really looks like this. Yeah. There's a lot of like Italian. A lot of darker wood. Yeah, yeah, the lower ceiling. Mm hmm But we believe that she had most of her meals for the end of her life in here. We made it into the, the, into the Venetian dining room where supposedly Sarah wanted us to come. But she did spend a lot of her final nights or final meals in this dining room. We're going to ask some questions, maybe why she wanted us to come in here and try to figure it out. Okay, we've come down into the Venetian dining room. Is this where you wanted us? You can also open these rods for yes and cross them for no to answer as well. It said open. Is Sarah here with us right now? Yes. Can you tell us how many spirits are in this room with us? I'll do a control question. Can you tell us how many living people are in this room? Six. It's definitely not right. Yeah. Can you tell us how many people are here, not including spirits? Blonde. Oh, blonde. I had both blonde. Both blonde. blonde. Yeah. 
Can you say your name? Is that Sarah? Can you say the name of this house we're in right now? Is there a specific reason you wanted us to come in here? There is. I think there is. Can you tell us why you wanted us to come in here? Overlooked. Just, did you hear? I heard it overlooked. Like maybe because this room was overlooked. We didn't come and see it. Flash it. Can you confirm that this is the room that we were that you were talking about upstairs in Sarah's room? Sarah Winchester ended her night every night. Let's do it. We have made it into the seance room. We're a couple minutes away from 12 a.m. Definitely not ready for this, but we have some special things if you can't tell. Part of Sarah Winchester's ritual was not only starting at 12 a.m. We're gonna go through pretty much exactly what she did each night to contact the spirits in the Winchester house. I think it's time to set up what we've got. Let's do it. All right, we've set up all the stuff that we brought, 13 candles on the ground in a circle. It is currently 11.59 at midnight. We dinged this bell 13 times to invite the spirits into this room and open a line of communication. Sarah Winchester did it every single night. Really, any second now. It's going to be midnight. 12 o'clock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
We invite the spirits of the Winchester house into the seance room. Please join us in here. If that is something you're interested in, can you make a knock or give us any type of sign? I think that we should set up some equipment. Do you feel anyone? Yeah, I feel like people are slowly filing in actually. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, okay, I, I don't even feel like it's just one person. Like, I feel like it's multiple people are coming. The idea behind her building this place was if she stopped, something tragic would happen to her. So she would come into this room alone every single night and hold a seance. And these spirits would come forward and give her directions or blueprints of what was gonna be built the next day or in the coming future. Whoever she was communicating with or maybe Sarah Winchester herself might be willing to communicate with us here, especially since we're going about it the same way. We've got the robes just like she would have had and say we sit in a circle. We have a couple of new things that we've brought besides this stuff and we try them out. Sarah Winchester had a supposed method of contact. Whoa! Sarah Winchester had a supposed method of contacting these spirits every night. They say that she used a Ouija board in her planchette. You guys know we're not done with Ouija boards. So instead, we decided to try something different. You guys might have seen this if we gifted this in a box, a mystery box video. We have a spirit board. It just gives us straightforward answers of yes, no, maybe, will not answer, try again, and perhaps. So we're going to try this. We have this amethyst pendulum, and the theory is you hold it above the center, and the spirit will sway it back and forth to whichever its answer is going to be. Ooh, you're not right. This should be interesting. Well, it should be a little interesting because we have something for you. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought another way we could do this would also be with you blindfolded and we had special earplugs. Okay. So you can't hear a thing. Right? Let's do it. Okay, that's... Sorry, everyone. You can get them specifically sized to your ear okay. so that you won't be able to hear. Alright, these are actually really fun. It's like a seal over your entire ear. That is so weird. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, that is crazy. Okay, sweet. I've never... I've never... I've never... Yeah, I've never felt something like this. Okay. Oh, my senses are all gone. I can beat you up right now. You... Okay. I can hear that. Okay. Alright. Now Mackie's set. And she has no way of hearing my questions. I want to pick up myself. So I'm going to start with the first question and let it go. Did Mackie and I setting everything up and sitting in this seance room Sarah would have? Did it invite people in here with us and are there spirits willing to communicate with us? It's like, I don't know if people can see this. It's like vibrating at the bottom. It looked like it was shaking, like physically shaking. If there are any spirits, I'm gonna give it a minute to start. Is it like spinning in a circle? It's shaking. Can you hear me? It's shaking. It's like vibrating. I feel it like moving. It's like, like It feels like someone's like yanking the bottom of it. Are there spirits here willing and ready to communicate with us? It's going to try again, maybe. Are there spirits here with us and ready to communicate? going to know, but it looks like it's also, okay, now it's on rephrase and will not answer. It looks like it's swinging to nose. Are there spirits here that just don't want to talk to us?
Are there spirits here that were here when Sarah Winchester used to perform seances? Are you able to move the chain in any other directions? Can you move the chain in any other directions? I'll give you 15 seconds or two. It's completely changed and it's going to, yes, it's going in a circle clockwise. Are there any spirits here that used to occupy this house when Sarah Winchester would come and perform seances in this room? It's going to. My face is like starting to burn. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we should stop. I know. Oh, I so feel like more than getting yes, no answers or responses using this board. Are you getting them? No. Nothing? Almost nothing. It would, it would spin like clockwise or counterclockwise. Oh, no. It's like you feel like you're in a trance. Really? Yeah. Super weird. I feel my face. It's warm. I know. It's warm. It's so weird. I feel my hands. So it's not like oh. a, yeah. I'll try. Okay, I'll try. We should set counterclockwise as yes, or like like one is okay. yes and one is no. But I also maybe it's the um, stubborn in me. I'm like, why don't you just use the board? Why make another option? Not for not you. Not you. <laughs> Sorry. Why don't you just use the Wait. board, Becky? Like you know, use it for what? Like, why don't the spirits just use the board instead oh. of saying yes and no? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm hmm. You. Yes, no. Maybe. Maybe. house can you please swing this pendulum to yes if you are here in this seance room with us if okay say rephrase and will not answer okay now it's on rephrase and will not answer say rephrase and will not answer okay are there any spirits in the seance room that will contact us through this yes no board. It's changing. I can feel it like getting, I don't know if it's like getting pushed or if you feel it like mm -hmm. on the right hand side getting pulled. It's switching to yes. Okay, so you are willing to contact us? If I put out some equipment that we brought with us, will you set it off? It's going to yes. Can you swing that pendulum a little bit harder? It feels really weird doing this and being under. It almost feels like when my eyes are open and I can't see them, I can just feel them. It's not as intimidating as when my eyes are closed and I can just feel them and not see them. It's, a, it's like you go into another zone. Over here. <laughs> okay, we've set up our equipment. Can you set off one of our devices right now to show us that you meant what you said? We also have the Spirit Talker app. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Please. Lies. Lies. Okay, the camera turned itself off like five minutes ago. We didn't know. The REM pod started going off. Amanda said there's a spirit in each corner. She thinks Ms. Winchester in, is in there. And I said, this probably turned off right when the REM pod went off. And this just said lies. Does that cover it? That pretty much covers it. I cannot believe it turned off. I didn't even hear it. It didn't even make a noise. I can't believe they're accusing us of lying. Yeah. We're not lying. This has happened. Nothing but the truth. <laughs> it's so weird that you were like, did it turn off? Like you- I know! You even had like a feeling, which was weird. That yeah. It's so weird actually. How did you know? I don't know. 
I don't know. It didn't make clicking noise or anything. No, it didn't make any noise. I just stood up and like, hold on, I'm gonna make sure the camera isn't off or something like that. Did we turn our camera off? Did someone turn our camera off? Read down the list of the stuff it said too, just in case we missed it. Okay, so it said, yes I can, sister. Oh, because I was asking if it, if it could set off one of our devices. It said, okay. yes I can, then the REM pod ended up going off. Yes I can, sister. I understand you. His. She scares people. Okay. Audrey. Oh my god. Lies. Did Audrey turn off our camera? The second you said her no, name, this went off. Before it was when she, I said she scares people, or when this said she scares yeah. people. Then it turned off also. It was when we were talking about Sarah Winchester, which yep. that's where she is, is that corner. I think it's Sarah. I'm still convinced. You think it's Sarah who turned it off? Farm. This was a farmhouse, wasn't it? Or did yeah, it was a farmhouse before she did all her stuff. Sarah, if that was you that turned off our camera and you're upset, can you trigger one of these devices again? Or if it's just time for us to go, can you please give us a sign and we'll leave? Elijah. Elijah? Do you think she's like, wants us out? <laughs> Sarah, can you give us a sign? If you want us to get out of your seance room or anywhere, is it anywhere? Anywhere. She wants us anywhere right My here. face is so hot still. Really? Yeah. Maybe they're done. I don't know. It could be. Is there anything you want to communicate to us? If not, we're going to pack up our stuff and leave. Be cautious. Right. We will definitely be cautious. Thank you for talking to us tonight, for letting us stay in your house, and this is a beautiful home. Thank you once again, Sarah, the spirits here. We'll get out of your hair. We'll pick back up when we're all out of the sale room. That was, she wants us to leave. Okay. All right, we're leaving right now. She's like, you guys are really dragging it out. <laughs> all right, we're leaving. He scares people. He scares right? people. It said that earlier, she it scares did. people, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, she scares people, and he scares people. Like, she scares people. No, he, he scares, scares people. people. That's actually so funny. Right. Right. Goodbye. It's tradition. They say goodnight to Sarah. So, Mackie and I just feel it's right. Good night, Sarah. Thank you for having us. Good night, Sarah. Thank you for letting us infiltrate your home. We'll let you get some rest. Have a good night. We made it out of the Winchester Mystery House. I, if you took me in there and spun me around, you don't even have to blindfold me, spun no. me around three times and left me, I'd be lost for weeks. Thank you, Amelia, for making sure we made it out. If you guys want to come get stuck in the maze of the Winchester House, once again, go to the link in the description, get your tickets for the Halloween haunt here. Come get scared. But if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to let us know in the comments below. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace.